Welcome back to Ricky Tick uh, DevOps. This topic today is about the deployment of Argo CD on OpenShift. Um, this is CRC and my my version of CRC is uh, 4.15.10. So <coughs> The deployment, if you want the production version, it will be on the membership. But unfortunately, I'm <coughs> 30 minutes, 30 minutes, sorry, 30 members away from having the, the membership. So it might be soon. So the first thing we need to do is uh, <coughs> we need to create a new project called Argo CD. As you can see, my open ship is it's clean. So there's there's nothing on it right now. So we create an Argo CD. And the next one we need to do is uh, deploy the operator. And we select the Argo CD here. And we click the install. And that will take a couple of minutes. So I'll post it. So let's view the operator. <coughs> and let's create our own Argo CD. If we go to the pods right now, it's just running the operator, right? So th there, there's one. So if we go back, too big to the creation of Argo CD and I have all the notes here I will put it on the link how did I arrive on this one I always pick this one it's always there's error about this I don't know why <laughs> okay so let's create so it's pending. If you see here, there will be another five pods more uh, that will be created. So we have to wait until they are all up. So while it's doing that, um, let's uh, create the, the cluster role. So that Ar Argo CD can penetrate all, uh, you know, all projects, and we should get the the password. <coughs> so we should save this password so that we don't have to keep on going back there. Now what? Let's put it here so the next one is get the Argo CD binary but I think I have this already Okay, so Argo CD and uh, we should create a route, right, so that we can access the Argo CD on the network. So services here, of course, we need to verify the Argo CD server and they are all running. So on the routes, let's create the route using yaml again all this uh the one i pasted will be on the link on the description so if we log in to the argo city again uh, this is because the certificate is not trusted you have to pay for that if you want that to be trusted 
but you don't want to do that it's expensive <coughs> okay there's nothing yet on the application so the next one we need to do to de deploy is uh, let me just read on my notes Basically, we can uh, deploy the application now, but uh, let's 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 also deploy the Argo CD notification so that in the future, uh, topics I will have for sure is the of course the Argo CD notifications because that's very important to have notification. Okay, let me add all this group for the of for the Argo CD. So basically this one is just creating the an example right of a regular user which is developer and you are making it an admin to the <coughs> to the Argo CD but to the open ship the developer is just a, a developer uh, unlike cube admin that, that the developer is a it's an admin in the Argo CD. <coughs> I need to grab the password here. <coughs> um, and we need to log into the Argo CD. Where's the command? And again, certificate is not valid so you have to say it's trustworthy anyway and we need to do uh, Argo CD cluster list now right so there's one Argo CD list there and the one that we will add is supposed to be default all the time with the cluster name and the cube admin right and then again trust the, uh, the certificate <laughs> so the next time you do a list it will be added there um, okay just to let you know that the, this Argo CD community is a uh, there's bug unfortunately if you take a look at here okay this this usually this deck server they keep on uh, going down so it always restart so many times we will wait I will wait we will wait we will go back to that one and I will show you that it's, it's going it is coming up and down so we added our cluster right so we have this default cube admin so let's add now the Argo CD notification so the first thing we need to do is download the Argo CD notification what happened oh I forgot to double it up So we should have the binary now, right? So after that, um, we can deploy the the application now. Okay, so the next task I need to do is to create the
Okay, this this um, Argo City community is so buggy. So let's try to create the application now. So let's just do it as YAML. <coughs> so before we do this one, let's just evaluate what's in 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 the github i created so inside there's an ocp and just basically a simple deploy with a deployment and a service so let's save it and let's create it so <coughs> Unfortunately, this, this uh, community is so buggy, you have to sync it again and click replace and synchronize. And if we go to the, to the JBM, see, I, I told you, this Argo City is so buggy that this DEC server just keep on restarting. So it's running right now. Right? <coughs> and in here it's fully sync. So I didn't I didn't add the routes because the it depends on your on your uh how do you call this one? OpenShift uh, networking. It varies from team uh, company to company what what kind of uh, you, you don't include the, the YAML usually on that one unless you already have uh, known the, the particular OpenShift network but what you what, we, what what I will do for now is um, since I know how to expose the service let, let's get first the, the service so it's just JBM, OC Expose, SBC, JBM. And when you click this JBM, you will see that uh, it's uh, the Red Hat page of HTTPD. So, unfortunately, guys, the community edition is buggy. Yeah, see, it's out of sync right away. Uh, on my membership, it will be the production deployment of Argo CD but unfortunately I'm 30 members away right now so if you you know uh, subscribe and then I can have my my paid subscription and you will see the not the community edition deployment and this also will will have the advanced Argo CD later on as described on my previous videos about the problem with the webhook and also teach you a little bit on Go programming and thank you guys signing off bye bye